All right. So we're going to be fair here to both of the new gen platforms that launched this week. Yes, I have an Xbox Series X on hand. Yes, I've torn it apart and put liquid metal on it and all that. I actually plan to take my stream from the other day, condense it down into a smaller video, and give some commentary on the experience and my opinions on some Series X stuff. Might even be a pseudo review of the platform. Uh, but what I am going to do right in this moment is talk about the reasons that I don't think you should pick up an Xbox Series X or a PlayStation 5 at launch. Now, as always, pick up platforms if there's enough games there that you want to play or enough features that enable you to want to purchase it. As an example, hey, maybe you care about having old-gen games upgraded to 60 FPS. That's a big deal. But there are issues with launch units every single time. The Nintendo Switch back in 2017 when it launched, the initial Joy-Cons, the initial left Joy-Cons, had connectivity issues because the antenna ran up against your palm and the battery compartment. This led to signal interference and the signal dropping on the Joy-Cons. Obviously, we know about Joy-Con drift as well. Uh, there were some docks that were slightly bent out there that were bending switches. Uh, these are all launch issues, most of which have been fixed at this point with Nintendo Switch beyond Joy-Con drift. But yeah, that was a problem. If you guys remember back on the PlayStation 4, the initial run of the DualShock 4 controllers that came with the PlayStation 4s, well, they had problems. They had uh, the sticks on them kept kind of cracking and breaking and peeling off. Uh, something you don't want to see happen. It was happening really quickly after owning the platform. It should have been a problem caught in manufacturing, but it wasn't. Obviously, it was corrected as the generation went on. Now, I don't remember any specific issues with the Xbox One outside of the fact that it was just terribly marketed and they forced Connect into the box. But in terms of technical issues, I think we were pretty good there. But if you think back to the Xbox 360, there was the red ring of death. And there's just been issues like this several times over the years. And the more and more advanced technology gets, the more and more and more likely there is to be issues. And it looks like there's issues with the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. So first, let's start with the Series X. Since I have experience with it. There are a number of people that are reporting that the Series X disk drive is not working or making clicking noises or other noises that are not deemed okay. There are people forcing their disks into it and then it'll work, but otherwise sometimes it doesn't accept disks. Essentially, there appears to be a whole run of Xbox Series Xs right now that have bad Blu-ray disk drives. Now, my disk drive works just fine. I have not had any issues with it, so I'm not someone that can sit here and uh, complain about the disk drive. I really don't have any complaints, at least in terms of hardware, when it comes to my Series X, but I was fortunate and I was lucky. Some people are unfortunate and some people are unlucky. This is an issue and these are the kind of issues that exist on day one launch units. This is nothing new. And the PlayStation 5 is not absolved from issues. So multiple reviewers have reported that the PlayStation 5 seems to have this issue with uh, external storage drives and saying the data is corrupt when you come out of sleep mode and then having to rebuild that data. It's kind of dumb. Well, now we have a reviewer that not only was having that issue, uh, but their PlayStation 5 actually died. Now, they don't go into any details about why the PlayStation died outside of talking about that one common error, but the YouTuber is ACG, and he's still giving away a PlayStation 5 and getting another one and seems to be pretty positive about the system, but it did die. Now, this is something to put out there that with the storage issue and obviously with the fact that this particular review unit died, granted it's the only one I've heard die so far, despite the numerous complaints about the storage issue, which seems to be fairly universal, um, that's clearly a problem with PlayStation 5 at launch. And this is, again, one of the reasons that I always suggest you do not buy systems at launch unless you are willing to put up with potentially faulty hardware, faulty OSs, or whatever may come our way and i'm sure as these systems get more and more in the wild over the coming months more and more issues are likely going to crop up there's already been some really strange things going on with certain games uh devil may cry 5 as an example uh when you put it into uh, performance mode runs at half of the frame rate 
of the PlayStation 5 version. Half. That makes no sense. This is a mode built for high frames. And the Xbox Series X has a faster CPU and a faster GPU with, you know, more power. And, and so I, it, it's weird. It, it just brute force alone should be higher. But there's also the fact that, hey, uh, because these systems are so powerful, whatever platform the game was rebuilt for, in this case, it definitely appears it was purpose built for PlayStation 5. They're just throwing it at the other hardware and assuming it'll work all the same. And while it still works and you still get over 60 FPS, it's just not the same experience. So, again, this isn't the fuel console war to sort of say, oh, PlayStation 5 is better because one game that was clearly built and optimized for PlayStation 5 was not optimized for the Xbox Series X. They just threw it at it and, you know, assumed everything would be fine. I, again, that's more on the developer side and the publishers and not putting enough time into that version because clearly that shouldn't be happening. And I think we're going to see the games that give uh, equal attention to both platforms when they're porting them. Uh, you're going to start to see some advantages happen on the uh, Xbox Series X. In fact, one of the modes in uh, Devil May Cry 5 actually runs better on the Xbox Series X. So, see, it, it, it's, a weird, it's a weird thing here. So... I honestly think people should avoid these systems at launch. And I hate saying that because obviously we had a lot of hype yesterday. There's a lot of hype and a lot of excitement. I'm a tech enthusiast. I'm willing to deal with these issues. But a lot of people aren't. A lot of people don't want to spend $500 on a system only to have issues before we even get to Christmas. Uh, so I always say wait for the second, third, fourth runs of these. You know, wait wait till 2021. Wait for the bugs to be ironed out, the issues to be ironed out. Uh, for those wondering about, hey, why aren't you talking about the Xbox Series Xs that were on fire and smoking? Well, Xbox has already come out to say that those, that, that those were faked videos, and they showed how they were faked. Basically, somebody vaped into the bottom, and it blew the smoke out the top. That's, that, that's what happened. They faked those videos. Uh, I know the one video sounded like there was a pop. Apparently, they, Microsoft looked into it. That system is running just fine. Uh, there's also a YouTuber out there saying that his uh, his PlayStation 5 is bricked. Uh, not not uh, ACG, but a different YouTuber. I'm not going to give that YouTuber uh, any personal attention, uh, but he actually got bricked by Microsoft. Um, so his system didn't die. Um, he's bricked by Microsoft. Microsoft did that because he broke NDA. So what, I mean... You broke the rules. Microsoft kicked your butt. So, again, we're not going to give him any more attention than just mentioning that is something out there as well in case you've seen that story. So it's one of those things that we have to be careful going in the next gen. Now, uh, I will have a review. I am planning to get a review done for the Xbox Series X today. I think I have spent enough time with the platform and I'm informed enough on the platform to give a review. And obviously, if something happens, if I end up having system issues, which it's a little hard to blame the system now since I tore it apart and put it back together. So is it the system's issues or is it my own issues? Uh, but either way, uh, I am going to give a review. Uh, we'll talk about the UI. We'll talk about Quick Resume. We'll talk about some of the games that are optimized for Xbox Series X, like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Gears, uh, Gears, Tactics 5, or Gears 5 Tactics. Uh, and you know, some other stuff too, that claims it's optimized like Madden, uh, 21. I've been playing a little bit of that as well. Uh, and you know, we'll, we'll talk about, you know, things I like and dislike. I still have to pop a movie, a Blu-ray into it. Uh, make sure that's all working and see if the 4k outputs are working all on that. There's also some strange things that we need to talk about as well. Some quirks with the system. Um, that you might want to know heading into potentially buying one down the line or if you're still waiting for yours to be shipped, which I know some of you guys are. So, yeah, I plan to get that review out. And I think throughout that review, um, it will be featuring me um, mostly tearing the system apart and liquid metal cooling it. Uh, and then I'll, I'll probably put in a little um, overlay of also using the system with some gameplay uh, and some UI stuff. I, gotta, I still got to get that recorded uh, for you guys because I have, I have a bunch of Assassin's Creed Valhalla recorded, but I, don't, I haven't really recorded much of using the UI or anything else. So I, I have to get that done today. But anyways, that's what's happening after this video. So good luck if you're uh, getting into these next-gen platforms. They're, you're oh, fine, just fine being excited. There's a lot of things to be hyped about. But as always, these are very common launch issues, and we're sure to find out more and more of them over the upcoming three to six months. So that's just buyer beware. All right, folks, I'll catch you in the next video.